Hi, I hope you are all well. Uh, I decided to show from a closer the tiny 220 volt motor, the key EG uh, generator. People call me and ask me a lot. Uh, uh, that they didn't understand too much how it works. Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's see how it works from closer. Those parts you can get uh, in eBay, they were not meant to be for a generator, but they meant to be for a clock spare part. I will give you the contact and you can have your, uh, your own uh, KG generator at your home. Later on in the future, I'd like to make a bigger one, uh, but uh, let's see the principle. Let's see how it works, uh, part by part, so you can do it, you can do it yourself, okay? Now, the QEG generator works on vacuum, as we know, and it has to be well isolated. So, here we have four pins, four metal pins, for the contact for the rotor, as you see, okay? And we have, as well, from the other side, four more pins that will close it from upstairs. So, and this is the coil, okay? The coil is around 1,000 uh, turn of a very thin uh, wire in this case, because we are working on high voltage, but a small amperage, very small amperage. In the future, as long as you make it bigger, you can put a, a larger wire of uh, 20, 25, 30 gate, and it will give you a very strong high voltage and as well amperage. Now, this one, 1,000 turn, uh, the AWG around uh, 40, 45, uh, gate 40, 45, it's very thin, okay? Now, let's put it together. If you wish to have the parts, I will give you the contact and you can assemble it yourself at home. This one <coughs> will go on the coil. Okay, and that way. Okay, so around the coil we have the four metal to get the current, as you see how the big one works as well, yes? Now, from the other side, we have more four that will close and make it eight. Let me show you this way. We are going to assemble it. I will just take the paper because the high voltage is big here. Okay, this will be the result, for example. I don't want to take any current when it would work, but you will see. And then you can see from close, from very close, that we have a situation that we have eight pin, four from, four from down and four from upstairs. That's what make, if you like, those, uh, those uh, contact for the coils, okay? Now, we have the rotor. In this case, it's a very small rotor. that will go just in the middle. We can put a pin, we have a pin as well here, and I will show you later. And then it go inside, you understand? Then when you spin it, you have the KG generator that give you a bigger and very strong high voltage. You never put your hands here because you are jumped. You are going to jump very strong. Now, here we have the same one here, the same motor, the same generator, okay? I will take just the, the, the rotor out. You can see we have the same one exactly. Uh, by, eBay, by eBay you can have the, the four parts, it's not expensive, and then you can assemble it this way. Now, what you have to do is to take a small plastic tube, even for a silicon tube, you see? I will take the motor out for you. And then you take a pen, let me, sh let me bring the pen. A normal pen, like this one, you see, just a pen, and you take the refill from inside, the plastic tube inside, okay? It's very simple. Then you put the, you cut a piece of it, and then you put it inside to the plastic tube that I just sh show you that you can take from a silicon tube or, or something. And then you have a rotor, you glue it here with uh, some uh, epoxy, and you are going to put, you see you have an axe here, because we put the axe because we don't have a bearing, you understand? So we have the, just this small axe here. And then we can put uh, the rotor inside, and then you can spin it, you see? Now if you put it and you look on the, 
on the thermometer, you are going to see that on the voltmeter that we have here, you see, you have current very, very strong. Now, so this can be, as, this is working on the same principle like the KUG, and let's, let's make a test. And then I will show you not only 220 volt, but even 600 volt. Uh, so if we were going to, if you like to make it a bigger one, we just need to put bigger wires, bigger wires, larger wires of get 20, 30, and of course you are going to have it. You can do it. Uh, we are going to make one, I believe, in the future. Now, the quantum is passing in the rotor. Okay, you can see the current that I have here. Okay, around, and, and the thing is it is moving a little bit, but if I put it on plastic or something, it will not move so much, or on a page or something. So, you can see that we can even raise the voltage. Uh, let me show you. You see? Okay. Usually we are getting here 220 volts. Uh, no problem, and it's very high voltage, like the quantum machine. And uh, I will show you see. Okay, it's almost 200, and usually I get 220. You have to pull it straight. That's all. This is all the secret. That it's all about. If you want. It has to be very, very straight. Now, what I want to tell you is if you can, in, uh, let's put a bulb. Now, the bulb that you are going to buy, it's a 230 volt bulb. Okay, let's say 2 watt that give you 10 watt of uh, luminate. And uh, you can have it everywhere. So, I will put the bulb here. And then you can, you, you can understand all the concept of this uh, KAG uh, generator. You can do it yourself, uh, slowly, slowly. Have a look. Have a look at the light, you see? It's a beautiful light. You see, I, again, we put it again, have a look at the light. I, you see, I close, I open. It's really, really 220 volt. Uh, so, what I want to tell you now that I will just we show you that I will just take it out now for one second, okay? And I put a bigger motor, small bigger motor that take maybe this this motor take around 200 ma. So, if you are going to put a, a motor and for this one. For half ampere, for example, you are going to have the same effect uh, if you compare it to the big one that they made. Uh, no doubt about that. Okay, just to show you uh, how much I can get from the voltage. I don't want to burn the, the bulb, so I will take it out. Okay. And have a look. Enjoy. Wait. I will just put it stronger a little bit. And you see. Now, we are going to put this a little stronger. And you will see how much voltage I can get from the small one. So you can understand how can you get as well 20,000 volts. You want to get more amperage, you put a larger wire. Look there, and let's see. How much we see? 827 volts. I'm not joking, it's dangerous. You see? So, from high, high voltage, if we want to get a more amperage, we just put the wire larger, we make it bigger, you understand? But this is all the concept. You can have one at home, you can light as well a bulb at home, and you can have your own generator. Uh, in the future, of course, we are going to make uh, the amperage will cover the input 
and of course that will work on itself and give you some uh, spare uh, energy to light the devices and so on. I, I, I hope now it's more clear, uh, the concept. Okay, thank you so much, Dennis.